Hello, beautiful people. We are here in Isua, where it's happening. We have His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Bewood Ibe, hosting the Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of all Nigerian agri. I mean, where you have a man who doesn't just only do the social things, but also remember those who are representing God on earth. It's amazing. Emperor Bewood Ibe is a man of the people. He's a man of great honor. He's an astute innovator. He's a boardroom technocrat. Should I start counting? Everybody Everybody knows that he's a philanthropist all over the world. He has covered Ogu, he has covered Enugu State, he has covered Nigeria and even reaching out to all the world. We are here celebrating the birth of God and today is going to really be a great day from the unveiling over there to the service and here we are in his home trying to have a good time. Be with us, don't go away, we love you. Thank you. Two great ceremonies in one for a man of a standing personality, His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Bewood Chris Ibe. It was a memorable day for the people of Isuawa in Ogu local government in Ogu State as their Imperial Majesties, Emperor and Empress Bewood and Pat Ibe hosted His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas D. Oko, the Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of all Nigerian Anglican Communion. The ceremony started with the arrival of Emperor, Empress, Primate and a host of others to the commissioning of the Cathedral Quarters for the clergy. The church service took effect thereafter, and after the service, all road led to Camp David, the country home of Baywood and Pat Ibe, for the hosting of the primate and other clergy. There is no doubt that Baywood and Pat Ibe have impacted the community, the people of Isuawa, Ogu local government, and Enugu state, as so many showered him so much encomium for his good deeds. of God, we call this step to declare this cathedral quarters for the clergy at this hour open for use in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Cathedral staff quarters was dedicated by His Grace Nicholas, Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of all Nigeria Anglican Communion. make his face to shine upon you Amen. and be gracious unto you. Amen. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you Amen. and give you peace and give you joy Amen. and give you progress Amen. and bless your home and bless your work Amen. today and forevermore. Amen. 
What can you say about His Imperial Majesty Emperor Beowulf Chris Ibe? Well, he's doing very well and uh, God is going to reward him greatly. He's giving this town a road, he's giving them so many other things. We are in the presence of uh, His Majesty Chris Beowulf Ibe. I like words to describe him. He's everything a man can be. I would say he's a God-fearing man. He's a good man, a man that is loved by the community. A man that is helping the people of the community that he was born into. In fact, he's a great man of God. We are very glad that our brother Baywood has brought the presence of God into Isawa. It is not an easy thing to host this kind of people, men of God, men of honor. It is a blessing. My prayer is that God will bless him, Amen. keep him alive, preserve him so that he will continue to do good to the poor. What can you do? I'm going to hand it to your mother. You can change the people who are living in the world. You can change the people who are living in the world. You can change the people who are living in the world. You can change the people who are living in the world. You can change the people who are living in the world. You can change the people who are living in the world. Don't take what you were Mabunta. Ebem Jaya Munaba went out with an aga on a young Munasi Chinek, a Yenigwe, a Patan. I'm an Ekene. Nasi Chinek, when you enjoy to come, Kedi Hembo, Oji Webu Stena come to Mosi Sad Webjoa. Who will ake in a Chinek and not his? Obu Makedum, ma'am. He's a, a man of uh, large heart, not only to the feeding, but he has been going around giving health opportunity for people. So I thank God for this man who, who in fact, he has been reaching all across of uh, human uh, endeavor. He's a wonderful person and um, a great philanthropist. Some of the God has used a lot to bless our diocese. He has helped a lot of the priests, a lot of the people here. As you can see today, he's hosting everybody after the visit of the primate. Yeah, today's event has been great. You can see the handwork of God upon you know, his primate. We are so glad to have the primate visit uh, Isuawa town, among other towns that he visited. It's a great honor to us, the Isuawa indigenous to host the primate of the Anglican Communion. Emperor Chris Beudibe is an illustrious son of Greater Ogo, an illustrious son of Ogwaniri, an illustrious son of Isawa. He's a philanthropist, very simple, a hard-working man, somebody who has only achieved so much. Uh, it's indeed having him around, and uh, we, are, we are blessed to have him. 
as a son of Fogwaniri to the glory of God. My prayer that God should keep him, sustain him. Oh, he's a philanthropist. He's a gift to humanity. Yet his type comes once in a generation. He has been of good help to this place, to this Ogwaniri, especially Ogo and Isuawa in particular. He tied the road. He has built a lot of edifices for us. So we are happy. That is why you can see if he called, people will come. felt good when I came and saw enormous work they have done this place. I was marveled. I was overwhelmed with joy. I feel good. In fact, I, I hear about him every day and I have seen he's a man that loves God and loves to do God's work. We thank Bill for hosting us. I pray that you continue to do the great work he's doing in the Swawa and the community and the diocese as a whole. He has been a wonderful man. God bless him. He's a man that loves the work of the kingdom. Uh, We've known him for many years of supporting God's work and uh, we can see the evidences through all of the structures and the work that is going on in our grand leaders. So he's a very committed child of God who will be supporting the gospel with the resources that God has invested upon him and that's more like what we want in Nigeria. I'm honored to have uh, the primate of Anglican Communion, the most Reverend Dr. Archbishop Oko, who came to commission a couple of projects in uh, the Diocese of Wanuri. And of course, we needed to host him and his entourage, his team. So for me, it's an honor that he honored the invitation, and we're happy to have received them, me and my entire family. This is the day that God made, and that's the reason for that. And I tap into that anointing and God's blessing. So the open doors that he had brought along with him is a new dawn and a new beginning for the family and the entire our community. I feel highly honored hosting his grace, the most reverend Nicholas Oko the number one primate of Alpha Anglican Communion. We love hosting and we love giving out, especially to the poor and less privileged. Coming out to be the number one of Enugu State, if God says yes, who am I to say no? I will back him up. Celebration didn't end there. As all wheels led to Ogu, where he was celebrated by executives of, and members of Save Ogu Forum, a forum designed to reach out to the less privileged in Ogu, as well as produce sound leaders who will leave no stone unturned in taking Ogu to the promised land. The hosting was championed by the deputy chairman of APC, Enugu State, Honorable Prince Chukwado Chukunta, APC local government chairman, Honorable Henry Iken Naume, Ogu APC stakeholders, and the general people of Ogu local government area of Enugu State. It was a showstopper ceremony as distinguished stakeholders and people of Ogu and Enugu State arrived the venue in their large numbers. The emergence of his and her imperial majesties, Emperor and Empress Beu Dibe, can be described as prototypical. Whoa, simply amazing. Emperor Beu Dibe was celebrated for his landmark achievements and his positive impact in Ogu local government and Enugu state at large. Some of the reasons that propel the celebration include his new appointment by federal government as board chairman, Nigeria Institute for Oil Palm Research committee member for APC National Convention and Miss Governors, Ministers and few entrepreneurs. His unflinching and sustained humanitarian services, top employer of labor, and many other reasons. A big congratulations to His Imperial Majesty Emperor Bewood Ibe and his wife Empress Pat Ibe. <laughs>
be shopping, see the vibe, I am with that be calling, calling, now the guests are loving, loving, no before me, they hear you before me, for him, popping, popping, on the stop, and you come spread the money, money, talk, and walk it, walk it, up, it, all this, and the wife, and all in, 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 all Our son and his wife, Imperial Majesty Emperor Beudibe, have done us tandemly well and is doing so much since he turned into the APC in Enugu State. I'd be happy that today is our own illustrious son that is in charge of revival of the pan industry in Nigeria, where the belt is more in the southern eastern Nigeria.
masses, a benefactor of the less privileged, the mass mobilizer of our time, a humanitarian of high repute. This honor was equally presented to outstanding personalities in Nigeria who have performed exceptionally exceptional. Today, the entire leadership sport media company, we are here in our number to identify with a man that needs no introduction. To identify with a man who has risen to give a voice to the voices, yes, to speak for the oppressed. That is why we are here to thank him for what he's doing. And we are saying when next we will come to honor him, we will be honoring him either as the governor of Enugu State or as the president of our republic. I'm gonna go 